Good morning, guys. So today is Bart's official day back at work. It's been three weeks. Um, and yeah, it's just Taika and myself. Now I don't go back for another like, week and a half, almost two weeks. Um, but I'm home. The boy, I'm doing some more before the boy really wakes up, but this guy's about to start waking up. He's in a swaddle right now. I only try to swaddle him at night for the remainder of the day. I try to keep him free and wild so he can understand his limbs, but as I'm sitting here, I'm trying to get some work done. And Tyke is laughing. There is a freaky ass squirrel outside of my house waiting for something. And that's not a fake squirrel, all right? This guy's real. You see him move? What does he want? He's just sitting here like spying on us. Let me try to show you a better angle. <laughs> What do, you, what do you want, dude? What do you want? <laughs> it's fucking cute, really. But it's kind of freaky when, like, I pull back. And that's all I see. I just look out the window and there's, like, this fur guy looking at me. Okay, and I'm kind of at fault. I know a lot of my animal lover friends out there are going to hate me for this. But I've always liked Snow White. And I've always wanted a house where there's a bunch of birds and squirrels and raccoons and stuff. Again, I'm fucking referencing Snow White, so know that my thinking is already illogical as fuck and I'm stupid. So, I had extra rat food right here. Um, and I put some of it outside so that I could get some squirrels. And it worked. And I know it's really bad because then they're gonna get fucking codependent on me and then they're not gonna know how to survive on their own. I get it, I know I suck. I only did it one time. And I think I might only do it until this bag is over. I know, I know I'm a horrible fucking person and I'm selfish and all I wanna do is look at shit right outside my door. But I don't want this food to go to waste. And I want squirrels outside of my window. <sighs> the struggles of a fucking loser. That's me, ladies and gentlemen. A loser. I think I'm gonna do it. All right, I'm gonna try to do it. Let's see what happens. Don't hate on me, y'all. Is my squirrel buddy there? Yep, still there. No, nope, you guys can't go outside because you're the last thing they need. Oh, my squirrel buddy left. All right, well, I'll do it up here again. So, where's my, oh fuck, they cleared it all up. I had it here last time. All right, so I'm here. I'm gonna put it, oh God, I should have worn some shoes. Put it here, oh fuck, I fucked up. All right, well, I think that's enough. All right, let's see who shows up. See who shows up really. Oh, god damn it. Should have put some shoes on. And then I'll show you guys. I know, guys. I'm a horrible person. But I don't want the food to go to waste. Trust me. Everyone benefits. I'm, I'm gonna cut. But I'll show you if there's anyone that shows up. Alright, I want to share something with you guys that um, I think is really cool. Two things actually. The first one is this bottle right here is really fucking cool. Oh my God, look at that face. Ugh. Ugh. And that guy over there is making all shit tons of noise. All right, so this swaddle is really cool because um, when you swaddle a baby, it's because their limbs and whatnot, they don't have control over them, so they get all jacked up, right? So they could be sleeping, and then their arm is like, decides to move now, so it does this, and it goes, and it shoots out, and for them, they're like, what the fuck happened? And it wakes them up. Um, but this swaddle's really cool. Oh, he just farted. But this swaddle's really cool, because it's Velcro. You don't have to do this crazy origami shit on your kid all the time. Wow, you have the crustiest mouth ever, boy. <laughs> that's breast milk if you're wondering that's pretty nasty but so you swaddle them and it's really cool oh he's excited he's getting out um but you just put them in this pocket and then you just velcro their asses up 
and it's the coolest shit ever because it's so convenient. Look at that. Oh, that feels good, huh? Oh, that feels delicious. Yeah, so that's really cool. That's the first one. And now the second one that's really, really cool is, um, so you constantly have to change your diapers because they're pooping and they're peeing like all the time and you don't want to let them stew in their own piss and poo because then, um, then they can get a rash. So I found this company called Magnetic Me and it's really, really cool if you're watching. <laughs> Hook me up, but anyway, not sponsored, I promise. Um, and it's all magnetic, so it's really cool because you're constantly opening and working on all these buttons. If you can see here, all he has are buttons and those buttons really fucking suck. But this is really cool because it's all magnets and then as soon as magnets connect, oh, he farted again. Um, it closes immediately. Here, click. I think that's really cool, but I have to cut this vlog because this guy is hungry. Right, dude? <laughs> that was another far for you guys. Damn, you are gassy, my friend. All right, let me feed this dude, because that sucks. He's hungry. I'm not gonna have him hold out on food. All right, I've been in meetings, but I have had a lot of customers come through for those snacks I put out earlier, and there were, I had two squirrels, but I couldn't record it. But I think they're back, because someone is on high alert. And there's a screen door, so she's not gonna run out, but... Oh, there it is. I think they're doing a standoff. See her? Or him, right up there, above my finger. You gotta leave her alone. I'm gonna close this door so they can eat comfortably. <clears throat> okay. Go eat, little squirrel, go eat. Because the food is right there on that, I don't know, on that level. <clears throat> but you guys are not trying to let it happen, huh? You funny boy. There's actually two of them. They're so cute. This whole vlog is about just stupid squirrels, but look. You see them? Let me see. There's one there and one right above. So there's two of them. The same ones. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Go run, buddy. Eat it. Cuties. Briggy's not about to let him, huh, Briggs? Let him eat, Briggs. The big cock blocker, dude. Taika's just looking at me. Come on, buddies. All right, so my quest to get my customers for the food didn't work out today because these guys were on high alert and wouldn't let anyone or anything near that food. So maybe tomorrow I'll have some customers. But Pop Bear's back from work and he's banging on some meats. There you go. <laughs> How do you have so much energy? I, I ran out, that's it. <laughs> yeah. What are you making? Um, so I have my meal prep. But I've been really good today, so I do have like a ton of calories left over. I think I got some pepper in my nose. Um, so I do need extra protein, so I went out and I got some ribeye steaks. And I've been craving that smoky meat flavor, like from Korean barbecue and all that. And I haven't had grilled meat in a long time and just craving for it. So, got some of this, probably make it, chop it up. And then whatever's left over, we can use it for other stuff. What's going on with your face? I got pepper in my nose. God, it's so sensitive. Ah, uh, look, see nothing. <laughs> God damn! You did all the shit talking for me. You look fucked up. You ever have someone throw pepper in your nose? Yeah, but I've never reacted like that. That's because you don't have a soul. Rude. All right, well anyway, I'm gonna wait for him to grill it because he's gonna grill it and I'm gonna throw this trash away. I've been vlogging, so this is a trash that I have. I have cookies, cookie wafers. I have orange peels and a empty baby bottle. That's my life these days. 
All right, Papa came into this house pretty damn excited. What's going on, baby? I'm not gonna say anything. Ooh. Smell it. Smell it. Let me see. Smell that. <laughs> and it's medium rare, and you can finally eat that now because you're not pregos. I couldn't eat medium rare because of the blood. The blood well, it would carry, I don't know, parasites or bacteria or some bullshit that I wasn't supposed to be eating it, but now I'm back, baby, and I'm gonna devour this thing. At least I'm gonna taste it for a really long time. I'm also tracking, so I know how much of a little weasel you are. Uh, I have this measured exactly, I can take some of mine. <laughs> I wanted to. <laughs> you son of a... I'll just get my own. And I you, why do you always it. have two cups? Because one's water, which I'll down Obviously. like, like shebang bay style. Why did you move it so far away from Look, me? Look, I was gonna sit there and then I realized I was gonna sit here. Fine. All right, well, serve me, peasant. Oh, shh. Just kidding. You want, me to, you want to see me cut it? Uh, it looks like I do. Watch. This is, it's, look how soft it is. See that? Sam's walk. Ma, you have to at least try a little piece, okay? Is that too raw? That might be too oh, raw. Oh fuck, that's super raw. Fine. Are you down with that? Cause I'm down with it. Okay, I'm gonna get diarrhea for sure. Might be too raw. <laughs> he rushed me to get out of here. He's like, you have to eat it at the optimum time. It's gonna be this, it's gonna be that. And I come and he's not even ready. He does this to me all the time. <sighs> but I love him. God damn it, I love him. All right, Papa, round two. So back from the grill because one of my customers does not want it that rare. So the chef took it back to the kitchen, fixed it up. Spit on it. But <laughs> mom said you spit on it. Yes, of course. I think you need to sharpen your knife. I know. Now, put this in your mouth and relax. Oh, my whole bag. Can you take half of it out? Are you serious? Mm-hmm. Tell me, that's not bomb. Diggity. Pretty diggity. Mmm. That's fucking raw. Nuh uh. Okay. I'm gonna get diarrhea for sure. I'll keep you guys posted. <laughs> no, you won't. Oh, it gets more medium this way. Diarrhea. Diarrhea, Figaro, Figaro. Damn, my life looks horrible. I need to sharpen it, probably. All right, so it's it's kind of that time now where we begin to unwind, and I don't know what's going on with these guys. Shh. <laughs> but Taika finally woke up from a three-hour nap, which is kind of scary for me because that means his batteries are charged. Hopefully, they're not. Uh, but it's nine for us, and this is our routine. We have to slowly start migrating up or else we're not gonna sleep until like one or maybe even two. Oh, someone's hungry. He's hungry. Yep. And when he's hungry, that usually means I want mom's titties. So. Are you gonna give him titty before we do formula? Yeah. So I have to breastfeed my boy because um, breast milk is always the best milk. You're so mean. <laughs> do they need uh, do they need to go out? They do. Okay. I'll take him out. You sure? So, yeah. So, we have to let the dogs out. We have to make sure this guy eats. We have to make sure, at least for me, I like keeping everything organized down here because then when I wake up first thing in the morning, when I come down, I don't want to feel like my freaking humble abode and my sanctuary is just, I don't know, a complete mess. So, I'd like to keep everything clean the night of. So, when I get up, everything's good to go. You're actually a really, really good mom, you know that. Why? I really love that about you, that you like to clean everything, because then, for me, I really enjoy that too. But you're just so good at cleaning, because like, I'll see a mess, and I just go, huh? But then you know, that goes there, this goes there, that boom, 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 boom. And I look at it after you're done, and I'm like, that feels good. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Fine. Well, I'm happy you can benefit from it. All right, fine. So I'm gonna get to organizing, let these guys 
uh, pee, let that other guy eat. So with all of that, thank you so much for joining my momified day. Um, I'm getting used to this and I hope you guys are getting used to it too because this is life as I know it for now. So thanks again. See you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. It's okay, baby. Good night.